y'all. This is what I know. I am getting me some pussy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of cologne. Well, I'm a lot of man. It's high karate. Whoa. Makes the gals go wild. <laughs> it says, be careful how you use it. Be careful, fucker. Oh, Lord. Why is it that married men are so interested in whores? I mean, maybe you guys should read your Bible. Man, don't tell me to read my Bible. I read my Bible every goddamn day. Come on. It'll be fun, muchachos. Just stay away from that old mama son. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe we'll go. But just to keep you three out of trouble. All right, bros! Push it, push it, push it! Come on, motherfucker! <laughs> this is a disgrace! <laughs> She'll probably do anything for about 200 piastres. For the lips of an immoral woman, grip honey. And her vow is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as wormwood and sharp as a two-edged sword. Her fate go down to death. Her steps lay hold of hell. It, it, it kind of smells like garlic and sulfur. Actually, Garlic and Chanel number five. They're, they're doing Satan's work in here. Although I do not doubt his involvement at a higher level, I believe some middle management yeah. demon is in charge here. <laughs> Me number one, Bucky Sucky. Love you long time, G.I. This is no place for a son of mine, Fred and Sunny. Find yourself a nice girl and settle down. Your father and I want grandchildren, you know. Shut up, mother. No, I'm sorry, I just can't do this. Did, did he just call her mother? Hey, are you okay, Carl? Yeah, fine. Hey, maybe you can give me something to help. You know, uh, drugs, marijuana, heroin. No, no, no drugs here. Look, I, I know I can get some here. Jenkins told me. Jenkins? Okay, okay. What you likey? Um, you know, the standard. Some uh, marijuana, uh, grass, uh, some acid, and some heroin. A uh, smack. <laughs> for me and my buddies. Okay. Hey, no, wait, not for me. Are you crazy, Carl? What are you doing? Getting evidence. No, if 
We get caught. We get court-martialed. Yeah, but we're, we're not supposed to be in this part of the Ville anyway. Carl, we have to go! But we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Shut up, Mother! This is getting weird. Who are you calling Mother? What? Get these guys back to the hooch. Can you find Matt's boots, William? Hey, where's Jesus? Hey, here's his hat. It has a rosary on it. Come on, guys, we gotta get out of here. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Forget the containment of communism, boys. We got a new objective in Vietnam. <laughs> Looking for Jesus in a hole. <laughs> 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 What did you do to him? <laughs> You're like young boy, huh? Sweet and tender. Number one special for you, G.I. Fucking hag, if he's a kid, let him go! He's He's coming with us! You, you bitch! Damn, Clarence! You're packing more than a Bible, son! <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like a hell of a situation here. He's coming with us. <laughs> Not so fast. Put down the weapon, boy, and I won't bring you up on charges. Go ahead, Clarence. Clarence? It's okay. But we're taking the boy. You are overestimating your advantage here, Sergeant. You kidnapped him, huh? you drugged him, and you have him working as a prostitute. Well, everybody's got to have a job. We're taking him. End of discussion. All right, you can have the boy if you get Swanson to back off. I don't have any control over the investigation. If I go down, things will not go well for this boy or his family. So find a way. Or I guarantee you will not like the outcome. Fine. Okay. I think I thought they. I'm lazy drug addict anyway. Come on, let's go. Remember our deal, Sergeant. So you rescued the boy? Yeah, rescued. I told Swanson to let it go, but he wouldn't. We took the wind back to his family. We thought we could keep him safe. I tried. I begged Captain Swanson. I even told him about my deal with Jenkins. He just wouldn't stop the investigation. We found him just outside the Ville. I told you, Sergeant, you were always 
recommending your advantage here! This is war, sweetheart. I can see why you picked this one. It would be a shame if something were to happen to him. Sir. It's okay. It's okay. Don't you worry. He's not going to do anything to you. He's got too much to lose. But that's what I'm afraid of, sir. Something might happen to you. Carl? I can't. Yes, sir. Don't you worry. I'll be back. Please, Nate. Don't go. Carl, sometimes war changes people. Native Americans, they call this soul loss. There's a poem. I was afraid of the dark until I became darkness. Whatever it takes, we won't let them win. Came the darkness. What exactly does that mean? Once you've overcome the fear of killing someone, it becomes easier. You become what you have feared, the darkness. Fear is darkness. Hey, Philip, fear of this. <laughs> Why should I fear something so tiny? I didn't really give a fuck about the goose, north or the south. I was so fucking scared when I got to Vietnam. I just wanted to survive. I was only 18 years old when I got my first kill, then I got to like it. Hey, what the fuck is that stuff, Carl? Incense. It purifies and keeps evil spirits away. Well, put it out. The gooks will smell it. It'll give away our position. I think they know we're here, Mac. I appreciate you guys who were in the bush behind the trigger. Our aviation motto was above the best. Incense has been used over the centuries for purification ceremonies and Preparation for battles in a righteous cause. The Kong are everywhere, and nowhere, like ghosts. I felt the same way Juan did when I was in the Gulf. I was afraid, but when I squeezed the trigger, it really put a charge into me. Then I felt guilty about it later. It's messed up, I know, but I think this war is going to be different. You promised me. Help me, cop. Please. No. It's the same. Vietnam, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, there's no difference. War is war. And it never seems to end. Never. Never. Vietnam, never more. Okay, that's enough for tonight. Hasta luego. You're pissed. I'm not. Bullshit. I just think this war has a clear objective. Not like Vietnam. Well, you're wrong. Carl, we have to face it. There's a good chance I'll go to Afghanistan. You don't have to go. Tell them you're gay. They won't take you. I can't do that, Carl. You know that. It's my duty. I don't know. Maybe the only good Vietnamese is a dead one. I don't agree. Fucking South Vietnamese won't fight. Why should we? Yeah, the fucking Avon are useless. Never fear, Cherry Boys. You're with the motherfucking John Wayne of Southeast Asia. Indestructible. Oh, you mean the 
Marion Morrison of Southeast Asia? <laughs> uh, you too. Hey, I think I see something on the ground over by the latrine. Yes. All right. I'll check it out. I'll take my hair with you. Dad, you parents! Hey, Carl. We all like Nguyen. It was fucked what happened to fucking VC. But VC didn't kill Nguyen. Jenkins did. Did it to cover his own ass. He maybe I got my ass out here in the bush for nothing. Hey, I only got 15 days left here in Nam. I made it this far and I ain't gonna get wasted because you're sad about some VC kid. Get your shit together, Carl. I need you. We all do. What is it? Get your head down. Dinky. He's dead. What? His throat was cut. <laughs> oh, well, boy! Her condition red! I guess your pussies wanted some action, huh? Just wait. I was in I Drain Valley. Saw a book go killing. You pussies would probably shit yourselves and go home in one big ass body bag. I uh, will waste every last one of those motherfuckers, right, guys? Shut the fuck up, Morano. You asked why I should be taking orders from a new CO, Captain Bunt. What? A new commander? What happened to Swanson? Why, he's dead, Sergeant. Tough war, send Lloyd. Hear from you, Carl. What do you need? Wow. Can I just reach out to an old friend? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... It's okay. I just want to reach out to my family, brother Vietnam. Sure, okay, okay. How are you? Good. Yeah. What do you do now, Clarence? I own a small business. I do a little community activism through my church. Nice, nice. A little of this, a little of that. Construction mostly. Hey, you don't speak with a st st stutter anymore. It's still there. It's mostly gone away. The miracle of prayer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You hear from any of the guys? Henry. Still up north? Yeah, Seattle. He's a college librarian now. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. No. You ever read that novel? Yeah, he sure did. He calls it Sex, Death, and Military Might. <laughs> yeah, man, we're all in there, too. Paul? Mac? Jesus? Earl? Jenkins? Swanson? Yeah. What's he say about Jenkins and Swanson? Look, Carl, it's in the book. Did he say that Jenkins killed Captain Swanson? I try to put all that behind me, Carl. Well, I can't. What was it between you and Captain Swanson? He was the absolute love of my life. Oh. What? Carl, this kind of sexual obsession is very destructive. We can it help you. It wasn't obsession, it was love! We're all sinners, Carl, now my church. We can help you. I don't need your fucking help, Clarence. I know who I am, it's not gonna change. Well, we have to move on. You can't live in the past. I have a good life. I have a family, I have kids. I try to put that war behind me, far behind me, Carl. You should too. You said you protect me, Carl. How can I? You do it, okay? You just, you just do it. What if it doesn't stay there? Listen, I'm very grateful for you saving us, Carl. I just, I just want you to know that. I didn't save everyone. Look, you get his book, you read it, you don't read it, I don't care. But take my advice, Carl. Don't waste your time chasing ghosts. Sometimes things are out of our control, especially in combat. We do our best, Carl. You did your best. My best wasn't good enough. I fucked up and people died. It wasn't your fault. You can't blame yourself. 
yourself for this. Yes, I can, because I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew. I was just too fucking scared to confront him. Who? Jenkins. Jenkins. Jesus. I forget that Bert is here sometimes. You, you gotta forgive. That means nothing to me. No matter how hard I try, I can't let go. Nothing works. Oh, pretty bird. I thought we were gonna find a home for that bird. Well, I can't take it. My girlfriend said no. When I was in the Gulf, my girlfriend was fucking some protester. I'll never forget that. Never. Ain't no sense in going home. Jody's got your girl. Ain't gone. Ain't no sense in looking back. Jody's got your Cadillac. That's fucked up. <laughs> Sound up. One, two, three, four, down now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I was at a conference, and this woman interrupted my presentation. She said, my husband has PTSD. Why doesn't he just get over it? Stop that fucking bitch, man. So I told her, imagine being in a car wreck where someone you know dies. Imagine that happening every day for one whole year. Then you shut up. <laughs> there it is. Ain't nothing but thanks. Seriously, why is that bird still here? There's no one size fits all cure for this. Carl, each of you are going to have to find your own way out of it. How? Consider taking action like Juan. I was invited to go to a college to talk about Vietnam. Vietnam, shit, shit, shit. I'm afraid Juan will traumatize those poor kids. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> There's no way I would do that. I won't set foot on a college campus again. I remember going to school after I came back and some son of a bitch professor had the nerve to ask me how many babies I killed in Vietnam. Could have fucking killed him. And if you weren't such a pussy, you would have killed him. Fuck off and die, you blind fuck. Just don't let them spit on you and call you a baby killer, man. Baby killer? Baby killer, baby killer! Does that bird ever shut up? You mad because the bird is funnier than you? I don't think I could do that. Talk about war? It takes guts. I don't know about that. But I'll tell you what, if talking to a bunch of college students helps, I'm doing it. You're warriors. You don't give up and you don't surrender. Give yourself a reason to fight, to get better. Think about what you can do, what you can get involved with. Okay? We'll see you next time. Sleep. I can't remember the last time I ate. I have a hard time keeping track of what day of the week it is. But thanks for being nice. I want to. Yes? I've been called up and I haven't told anyone yet. I wanted to tell you first. Thanks, I guess. I know what you're thinking. Good, that makes it easier. Can we talk about it? You know how I feel. Look. I know some shit got fucked up between us, but I still, you know. I know. I, what? Look, can we, can we just not do this now? Just, when? I, I don't know. T tomorrow, just not now. Okay, tomorrow. Stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! He's dead. Come on, dude. Get your shit together. Come on. Come on, don't panic. Don't panic. Come on. Panic. Do it. Don't panic. Be strong. Strong for my men. Do it for Max, do it for me. Come on. Fight! Protect. Fight! Protect myself.
Carl! Hey! How are you doing? Hey, Henry, how's it going? Hey, <laughs> hi. Hey, listen, um, I need your help with something. Uh, I read your book. Really great writer. Ah, thanks. Not a bestseller, but it keeps me going. You know, writing's like therapy for me. Writing about Vietnam helped me work through a lot of crazy shit. Yeah, well, I'm still working through mine. You can't, Carl. You know, uh, once I stopped drinking, I saw things more clearly, sorted them out. I think I'm married. Had some kids. How about you, Carl? Did you ever get married? No, I never did. I, I'm with another vet. Um, his name is Max, and, well, I'm sort of with him. And uh, I'm trying to make it work. That's why I'm not drinking or using. And I just don't want to fuck it up. Then do not fuck it up. Yeah, well, sometimes I feel like I'm going to lose it, you know? Just go crazy. Do you see yourself in Vietnam, man? You know, the truth is, that war was crazy. It's hard for people who are not in combat to understand. Hey, man, do you know what you were doing over there? Do you know, man? Yeah. Like my boss at the library. He complains that I'm too loud and abrasive with the library patrons. I cannot help it. I get really irritated when people ask stupid questions. <laughs> they do not think. I mean, I guess people expect librarians to be meek and mild and speak in whispers. <laughs> yeah, so last month, I wore my uh, Edward Monk necktie, the scream, you know the painting? Yeah. Yeah, well, my boss says to take it off. He said, it was inappropriate. <laughs> it was making the library patrons nervous. What you... I told him not to worry about it, that wearing the necktie was all part of my combat trauma anger management therapy and simply externalized my internal torment keeping me from lashing out violently at those around me. What did he say? Nothing. But now he wears one, too. <laughs> right on, man. What was he doing? Fighting. <laughs> Fighting for his life. Carl, you uh, said you needed my help? Yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for Jenkins. Is he, uh, is he dead? I do not know. The last information I dug up on him, he was really big into the s and scene in San Francisco. Especially after the war, the yeah. 1970s and 1980s. The really hardcore stuff. In the jungle. Fighting for his life in the <laughs> jungle. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Did you look? Yeah, everywhere. I never found him. Yeah. More like hunting. Yeah, man, like hunting. Right on. Fuck. Fuck. You okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, anything else? No. Sorry, man. Uh, you try some of the vet centers? Yeah, everywhere from... Sacramento all the way down to San Diego, up and down the coast. He showed up in one in East LA, but then he disappeared. <laughs> Hunting for what? Hunting for people! A lot of veterans do. Yeah, well, I know he's out there somewhere. Right on, man. You got it. Hunting for people. <laughs> Why? Carl, is this about Swanson? You know Jenkins killed him, Henry. Nah, that was friendly fire. I looked into it. I could not find anything to prove otherwise. No, he killed Nate. I know he did. <sighs> okay. Yeah, but... What if he did? What? What if Jenkins did kill Swanson and your family? What then? Kill. Henry, I don't know. I'd, I'd get the story out of him. I'd get him to admit it. I'd get him to tell the story how, how he killed Swanson. And then what? Fuck, Henry, I'd, I'd fucking kill him. I'd choke him with my bare hands. To kill. And then what? <laughs> Jesus, Henry, I don't know. I'd, I'd, uh, 